I'd better not let Madame Pomfrey see me. There's Hermione. What's that she's holding? It's a note. In her handwriting. Here's what it says. Of the many fearsome beasts and monsters that roam our land, there is none more deadly than the basilisk, the king of serpents. This snake, which may reach gigantic size and live hundreds of years, is born from a chicken's egg. Hatch beneath a toad. Aside from its deadly and venomous fangs, the basilisk has a horrible stare, and all who are fixed with the beam of its eye shall suffer instant death. Spiders flee from the basilisk, for it is their mortal enemy. The basilisk flees only from the crowing of the rooster, which is fatal to it. But how's the basilisk been getting around the place? A giant snake! Someone would have seen! Pipes, Ron! It's been using the plumbing. I've been hearing that voice inside the walls. That girl who died. Aragog said she was found in a bathroom. What if she never left the bathroom? What if she's still there? You don't think? Not moaning myrtle. The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. What if it's in moaning, moaning myrtle's, myrtle's bathroom? bathroom? All students are to return to their house dormitories at once. All teachers return to the staff room immediately, please. Oh no! Not another attack! Yes, there had been another attack. The worst one yet. This time, someone had disappeared. It was Ginny Weasley, and another message was left on a wall. It said her skeleton will lie in the chamber forever. Hogwarts would surely close now. Professor Lockhart had been given the task of rescuing Ginny, but Ron and Harry were beside themselves with worry. They had to do something. Hurry, Harry! We have to save Ginny! We need to have a plan. I'll go to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom and try to find the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. And I'll go find Lockhart. It wouldn't surprise me if he was trying to sneak out of Hogwarts. Here's the defence against the Dark Arts classroom. ask you how you died. You're the first one who ever asked. I died in this very storm. I remember it so well. The door was locked and I was crying because Olive Hornby had teased me about my glasses. Then I heard somebody come in. They said something odd in a different language, I think. Speaking. So I unlocked the door to tell him to go and use his own bathroom, and then I died. Where was this boy standing? Over there by the sinks. One of them has never worked, 
Not as long as I've been here. I wonder if that's where the entrance to the chamber is. Open! Open! That's not working. Maybe if I try parcel tongue. Open! That's got it. ready to go. What's that? I think it's the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. Well then, you won't be needing me. Cheers, boys. Have to go warm up my broom. You're not through yet. Down you go. No! Come on, Harry. This is it. I know. Adventure ends here, boys. Run! Say goodbye to your memories. Obliviate! Ron! Are you okay? Ron! I'm here! I'm okay! Go some crew, Harry! Wait there with Lockhart. If I'm not back in an hour. Anyway, see you in a bit.
Lipendo! Richter Sembra!
Ginny, please wake up! She won't wake. Tom? Tom Riddle? She's still alive, but only just. Little Ginny's been writing in my old diary for months. She poured out her soul to me. It made me stronger until I had enough power to pour a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets, just as I had long ago, before I became Lord Voldemort. No! <laughs> It is me, Harry. Ginny told me all about you. I'm afraid that your second year magic tricks will be worthless against the power of the greatest sorcerer in the world. The greatest sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore is gone. Now I'm going to teach you a lesson. Let's match the powers of Tom Riddle, heir of Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter. That's a phoenix. Forks! A sword from Dumbledore. No doubt afraid to come himself. Well, it won't save you, Harry Potter. Speak to me, Slytherin, greatest of the Hogwarts Four.
Harry, oh Harry, I wanted to tell you. It was me, Harry, but I swear I didn't mean to. Riddle made me do it. It's all right. Riddle's finished. Come on, Ginny. Let's get out of here. Hello, Harry. Professor Dumbledore! I thought you'd been suspended. Lucius Malfoy had threatened to curse the board if they didn't remove me, but they decided to stand up to him. Now that the heir is gone and the basilisk is destroyed, they know Hagrid is innocent too. He'll be back in his hut soon. What about Lucius Malfoy? Will he cause any more trouble? I doubt it. We can assume it was him who got the diary to Ginny. He daren't do it again unless he wants the Ministry of Magic after him. About Professor Lockhart, I'm afraid he's lost his memory. Oh dear, what will he think about now that he can't think about himself? Just don't give his job to Professor Snape. He's too, um, valuable as a potions teacher. You've all performed brilliantly. It must have been a terrible experience. It was. We spent much more time in a girl's bathroom than I would have liked. Being petrified was awful, but I learned a great deal from it. I'm going to write a paper about it for extra credit. When you've got your friends to help you, you can accomplish anything, and nothing is too awful. Well, almost nothing. Looking like Goyle came close. There's a banquet waiting for you downstairs. What do you propose for the first toast? To friendship. Loyalty and courage, but a friendship most of all. The rest of the final term passed in a haze of blazing sunshine. Hogwarts was back to normal with only a few small differences. Defense against the dark arts classes were cancelled and Lucius Malfoy had been sacked as a school governor. Draco was no longer strutting around the school as though he owned the place. On the contrary, he looked resentful and sulky. On the other hand, Ginny Weasley was perfectly happy again. This is our last day at Hogwarts. Yeah, the only thing left to do is the House Cup ceremony in the Great Hall. If you have anything you want to do at Hogwarts, you'd better do it before you go to the House Cup ceremony. Must be on my way. Must be on my way. the portrait of the Gryffindor common room. It's good to see you again, Harry. Class is Herbology. Attention, please. Students, attention. The headmaster wants to address you. Silence. It isn't too late to lose house points, you know. This house cup ceremony brings the school year to an end, and an eventful year it was. Without further ado, I shall now present the cup to the Hogwarts house with the most points. Think we'll take it again this year? After you and Harry saved Hogwarts, I should think so. In fourth place, Ravenclaw. Thank you for not staying last place. In third place, Hufflepuff. Thank you. We find finishing in the middle to be quite adequate. And now for the second place house. It'll be you, Gryffindors. You're naturally second best. You won't steal the house cup from Slytherin like you did last year. After barely escaping disqualification, Slytherin... What? That means... 
first place when the house cup goes to Gryffindor. Yes! We did it again!